from the world continue to observe Ramadan, a Muslim teenager in our region says she was discriminated against for wearing her hijab at work. Action News reporter Sharifa Jackson has her story tonight. 16-year-old Zakaya Camper is a proud Muslim who wears her headscarf for hijab as a sign of her faith, but she says she was told to take off her hijab in order to work. Her first day she wore it, she showed up for training, she wore it, and then they told my sister that she couldn't wear it when she came back, but she So at that point, we've hired you, you're training, you're not like some fucking employee, six-time employee of the month fucking... You know what I'm saying? Goddamn award-winning fucking employee. You're just in training. Don't wear this thing. Okay, boss. Like, it's that simple. Why are they making this like this some fucking like I, I was gonna I was gonna say, you don't think they had a like rule like a rule book where they said that you can have no headgear on your head before you start working there? We don't read the rule book, man. I can tell you that. <laughs> yeah, I guarantee you they ain't read the Quran either. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a restaurant, though. Don't they want the, everybody's hair to be covered? I mean, well, that one had the Pooh Shiesty mask on. It looked like she was that already. <laughs> yeah, this is this is this is this is annoying, man. This is this is frustrating, man. It, we cause problems everywhere we go. But she says she was told to take off her hijab in order to work. Her first day she wore it, she showed up for training. She wore it. And then they told my sister that she couldn't wear it when she came back. But she wore it anyway. Tonight, her aunt spoke to Action News. She says her niece... Okay. So, like... Uh, yeah. Tamika. They told her not to wear it. She came back and she wore it anyway. And gliders put you on the news as if you're some kind of victim. It's a safety hazard. You get caught in machinery and drag you to your death. Or they just don't want you to wear the shit. They don't give a fuck if you're Hare Krishna. Fucking <laughs> Buddhist. Don't wear shit on your fucking head, man. Real shit, real shit, real shit. Her first like she the, the dashiki guy. Yeah. She wore it. And then they told my sister that she couldn't wear it when she came back, but she wore it anyway. Tonight, her aunt spoke to Action News. She says her niece was hired as a waitress at Michael's Family Restaurant in Glenside. That is also where the team's mother works. That was a huge mistake, man. That was a huge mistake, Michael Smith. She probably referred her and everything, too. Well, wait, 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 they got a salad bar, though, man. You already got one there. You already got one. And then you gonna bring in the fucking millennium version of, of, of it, of it. You can't even keep calling her of it. And you don't think, and you don't think her mother worked rest- there. You don't think if her mom worked there, the mom wasn't wearing hers either. Right. The mom obviously didn't lose her job, so she obviously wasn't wearing. It's just fucking. <laughs> Progress. It's right in Glenside. That is also where the team's mother works. My sister, you know, is in a situation where she feels as though, you know, she has to give in to their demand of, you know, removing her hijab. She's not in the spot where she can refuse to. But she doesn't believe it's right. Saturday afternoon, the NAACP and community members met outside the eatery. So we're here <laughs> in support of this young lady and our family. Whose grandma is uh, this? To show that as a community. Email, I mean, email. you know. This she can crazy. she can wear that thing if she wants to. Nobody's telling her she can't. They're just telling her that she can't be employed at that job and wear the thing. And now they're marching outside. <laughs> this is crazy. This is crazy shit. It's still oh 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 for Philly, man. Double ACP and community members <laughs> met outside the eatery. So we're here in support of this young lady and her family uh, to show that as a community. This is something that won't be tolerated. For this type of accident to occur, occur during this specific holy time is really a disgrace. This is that, a that, guy needs to, that guy needs to visit the salad bar more or not eat at that restaurant anymore. They've had literally fucking 15 
hundred black people have been murdered in the last 36 months. And these motherfuckers, this is the probably the, the first time the NAACP show. So, like, the NAACP is pro Islam now? Because this is an Islam issue. This is not a black issue. No, this is a black issue, Jack. Well, I mean, yeah, it is, but at the same time, like, the <laughs> principle of it is, like, related to Islam not being black. Man, but if the problem be- is, you told a black girl to do something. If she had on a fucking weave of white fucking hair and they told her not to wear that it would be a black issue this is a Mm -hmm. black issue man but i'm just saying like they're so stupid they don't they're arguing for islam but it's really like a black thing it doesn't make any sense i don't think that they mind that they see islam as a black thing like a lot of black people see islam as a black thing they see christianity as a white thing Islam is the black religion and Christianity is the white religion in their mind. But also y'all are the original Jews. And the Native Americans. Yeah, man. It is what it is. I know. I'm I'm trying with my little glider brain to understand. The original Egyptians too, right? And the Japanese. Yeah. I mean, of course we built... Of course this group that is stumped by this problem, dragged a million stones the size of a fucking office building, hundred miles without the wheels and stacked them on top of each other. Of course, they did that. This is something that won't be tolerated. For this type of accident to occur, occur during this specific holy time is really a disgrace. And Michael's family restaurant in Glenside released a statement saying one of their employees violated the values of their establishment and she has since been terminated. The statement also reads, we are saddened that this incident disrupted the peaceful observance of the month of Ramadan. We commit to meeting with Muslim American community members to listen to them and also have our staff go through a sensitivity training. Oh, shit. Think about if you're on the staff. Now you got to fucking sit in the fucking... Um, conference room and shit, and read a bunch of pamphlets and shit, and do a bunch of take a bullet of um PowerPoint presentation on how uh, you might end up taking a bullet too. True, indeed. Or an incident like this never repeats. Our goal is to make them listen, to make them understand that you can't treat people the way that you want to treat them. Religion and wearing your hijab is. All right. The family says they are unsure if the teen will return to work here. Moving forward, she does have legal representation. Reporting from Glenside, Sharifa Jackson, Channel 6, Action News. The crazy thing is, black people do the most shit to everybody, but complain the most. Like, it's crazy. This is, this is bizarre. This 